All right, what is going on, guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of uh, Prakat Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, we're going to be showcasing the full free to play team Bardock and find out just how good this team actually is. And the focus in today's video is not so much on the hardest events in this game, like the Legendary Goku event or Super Battle Road or anything like that, because I'm pretty sure this team can't beat those events. Although I haven't really tried, so I guess I could be wrong. If you guys have done it yourself, you know, you've cleared the Legendary Goku event or a Super Battle Road stage with this free to play team, then feel free to prove me wrong with a link to a video in the comments down below. But that being said, I'm 99% sure it's not possible. And what I'm mostly interested in here is how well this team actually performs on some of the hardest Dokkan events in this game, like this uh, UI Goku Dokkan event we're about to take on, and also the SDR Jiren event, um, DBS Broly, and so on and so forth. So today's showcase is probably going to be just like two or three runs of some of the hardest Dokkan events and uh, see how well we can actually do with this fully free-to-play team. And if it turns out, that we're actually able to beat all these events with this team, that'd be freaking awesome because that would mean that this team can pretty much beat every single token event currently available in the game. And this is especially good news for newer players because I don't know if you guys remember when you first started, but for me, um, my main issue when I first started as a new player was not so much like pulling the new units, although obviously that was an issue sometimes, but the bigger issue, the bigger problem was that when I was able to pull those new units, I couldn't awaken them because my, my, my teams, my units were just too weak, right? So I couldn't beat the Dokkan events. So it took me a really long time, like at least, I want to say one to two months of playing before I was actually able to beat my first Dokkan event. And even from there, it was such a huge grind to finally uh, get all the clears done. And I think I used a ton of stones too. It was a bad time, it was stupid. But anyways, you guys get the point. That was a really hard time. So if newer players can actually just grind this team and use it to beat all the hardest Dokkan events in the game, that'd be awesome. Obviously, it would take longer than using a proper summonable um, category team, but at the very least, it's better than not being able to beat those events at all, right? So with all that said, let's check it out. Let's focus on the gameplay now. And uh, so we're already on the third stage, so that's a good sign. I wasn't even paying attention, and we're already on this STR Blue Goku. And let's give some orbs to Bardock, give him an 18 key super here. And I think I'm actually going to take Fasha out of rotation and just have her as a floater. And we'll keep Borgos in rotation. So let's see what this one dupe SA20 Bardock can do. Okay, so 1.1 mil right there, not the craziest. But not too bad, not too bad. And the super attack animation is insane, guys. That's an insane animation. I love it. All right, Borgos is doing almost a million. Almost a million. And doing some pretty decent damage too. And Fasha here, not, not too impressive as far as damage goes, but you gotta keep in mind, she doesn't actually have any uh, attack on her passive. So the fact that she got to almost half a million is actually kind of impressive too. And okay, one thing I do want you guys to really pay attention to is the, the homie uh, Shugesh here because he is actually insane. He is such an insane defensive unit. Now he hasn't really had a chance to stack up attack or not, not attack, a defense yet, right? So it's not gonna be that impressive, but over time, after a couple turns, after a couple supers, he actually becomes ridiculous on defense. Now, as you can see, even without a ton of defense, he still only took 10 damage from the normal attack. And then here's the SDR Bardock, he's a nuker. We gave him about five orbs, about five orbs, and he almost got to a million. Now this stage is gonna be a little bit tricky because it's the uh, one hit KO stage. And this is kind of the stage that kind of stops the Ginyu Force from consistently beating the event, at least from my experience, right? The Ginyu Force can beat the UI Goku event on occasion, but uh, the success rate is not super high. So hopefully this team does better. Let's uh, pop the Ghost Usher here, just so we can uh, avoid that one hit KO attack there. And I'm gonna throw Tora into the back. Uh, almost an 18, 18 key super for the one dupe Bardock. Keep in mind, my Bardock is gonna be a lot less impressive than the friend Bardock because 
mine is only SA10 with no dupes. Um, I actually ran out of <laughs> ran out of uh, Kai's when I was trying to uh, power this guy up. So we're gonna work on him, but just focus on the friend Bardock for now. All right, all right. Here we go. Borgos with almost a mil, so a little bit higher than last time, and we might actually take out the STR Goku here. Damn. Okay. All right, and the attack is at the end, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Let's uh, let the homie Shugesh build up a bit more defense this turn, and I'm pretty sure Bardock will finish him off. If not, then Fasha should also uh, help a little bit here. And 573k, so not a ton of attack, but not too bad. And of course, his main thing is defense. Man, his defense is going to get really, really good near the end of this event. All right, there we go. So we beat the one-hit KO Spirit Bomb Goku, which is kind of the main concern when it comes to this event. And now we're on to the UI Goku stage. Not the mastered UI Goku, so the second last stage. Uh, defensively, it looks like... Actually, it looks like Borgos and the LR Bardock. They're pretty on par. So I think I'll leave it as that. And we're consistently getting the 18 key here, which is really, really good. Um, obviously, it helps that we have two great supports on rotation. So let's see what happens here. We are taking a super immediately. This could hurt a little bit. This could hurt a little bit. Our 64k is actually not terrible. All right, 1.5 mil from the LR Bardock. I will never get tired of watching this animation, man. Never get tired. Okay, so 502k. 502k. And now over a million, 1.1 mil almost from Borgos, 692k crit, tanking for single digit damage, and damn, okay, okay, not too bad for my uh, SA10 Bardock either, with the 12 key super. I'm pretty impressed, man, I'm pretty impressed. Now let's see what our Shukesh is doing here, 100k defense, guys, 100k defense already. And no supports on our rotation. Oh, actually, I lied. Uh, Tora is a support, but still 100k defense. Um, so we're definitely going to put the homie Shugesh here, of course. And how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 orbs for Bardock. And then Tora can get whatever. He does build attack and defense over time, but he builds it very slowly. So um, on Dokkan events, I wouldn't necessarily count on him to do a lot of damage or really tank. But the great thing for him is that he's a good support and he also heals you. When you fall below 70% HP. So he still has his usability for sure. Still has his uses for sure. Alright, so we're not taking damage. Not taking damage once again. And uh, doing some pretty decent damage actually. On the UI Goku. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And yeah, Tora only about 400k attack at the moment. Uh, and we're taking 44k. Okay, yeah, that hurt a little bit. That hurt a little bit. Um... I'm definitely going to be putting Fasha, I kind of want to put Fasha in the middle, but I also want to keep Borgos for damage, so I think we're going to put Fasha at the end. Borgos can hold his own defensively, at least somewhat, so let's go with that. And I'll give one to Fasha, and hopefully we can actually just finish off this stage on this turn, so we don't have to worry too much. Actually, I can save that token attack for the next stage. All right. Come on, give me a nice crit. Give me a nice crit. Okay, no crit there. Still amazing animation though. Still loving it. <laughs> and four ghosts finish it off. Ah, uh, nope, nope, not this time. All right, so we're getting supered. Four ghosts has some decent defense, but this could still do a lot of damage. 86k, 86k. Okay. Um. Fasha, yo, put that high chance to dodge. Okay, no high chance to dodge. That's okay. That's okay. Now, I'm going to let Shugesh do his thing. Am I going to have to waste this token attack, actually? I think I might have to. Or if I just give him these ones. And then he gets three orbs. There we go. We actually saved the token attack. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so no damage for Shugesh. And... 750k this time. There we go. All right, Shugesh MVP of the team, no question. <laughs> and now we're on MUI Goku. I will probably have to pop an item here just to be um, a little safe because I don't really trust the Tektora especially. 
So let's use a Princess Snake, get some damage reduction, get some healing, heal it back to pretty much full. The team has 261k uh, HP, that's actually pretty solid. And uh, I think I will put, I'll, I'll leave the Bardock there. I'll leave the Bardock there. And we're getting a Dokkan attack of course, so yeah, that actually made sense. I kind of forgot we had a Dokkan attack coming, so here we go. Okay, so tanking well, tanking good, got a dodge there. I think that's just from the hidden potential system, not uh, his passive or anything like that. But yeah, level 5 dodge coming in clutch. 1, 2, 3, 4, oh crap. <laughs> That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. My bad, you guys. I apologize for that terrible performance, but that's okay. We should still do some pretty nice damage. Some pretty nice damage here. And okay. Okay. Throwing us around. That's okay. Wait, no, no, no. No, we're doing the damage. My bad. I got confused for a second. I was like, we're getting attacked. No, but we're attacking. We're doing the attacking. Okay. That was good. Okay. <laughs> Man, what is going on with me today? What is going on with me today? Don't worry about it. Yo, Tora's up to 625k now. And the additional too, 590k. He's not doing a lot of damage, but he... Th that's that's actually pretty impressive, man. That's pretty impressive. And also, with the... Um, with the, the building of defense, he also tanked pretty well too. So, good job, Tora. There we go. And defense for Shugesh up to 113k, so I am not worried about him at all. Let's try to give a lot of orbs to Bardock here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, I think 7 is the most, actually. Okay, there we go. And Fasha is completely safe with no attacks coming at her. So, yeah, Shugesh, do your thing, man. Yo, I, I don't even care about this. This is... This is nothing. Yo, Shugesh laughs at your supreme Kamehameha. Come, come on, you're Goku. 3.2k, what is that? What is that? <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, so Shugesh is a monster. I think we've established that. Actually, we have we established that on the previous video where we uh, he helped a lot, at least, in beating the legendary Goku event. Like, he was taking no damage from the MUI Goku at the very end, even from a super, because he had built so much defense. So that was pretty awesome. Um, but aside from that, the rest of the team is very, very good too. It's a very, very good team, especially for a fully free-to-play team. As you can see, it's taking us quite a bit of time to beat this event, but uh, once again, it's way better than not being able to beat this event at all for like newer players, right? Like, I, I, I don't know how long it would t you know, normally take without this team to uh, really build a proper team to beat a Dokkan event like this, but I would imagine it would take a while from zero, especially if you're a free-to-play player that just started. If you're a whale, you know, you can start and pull a bunch of units and uh, do pretty okay, but if you're fully free-to-play and you're trying to beat like the MU the UI Goku Dokkan event or the Jiren Dokkan event, it's probably gonna take a while. So this team, as you can see, perfectly fine. In taking on the UI Goku Dokkan event, which is still one of the hardest Dokkan events in this game. It just takes a while. It just takes a while. Let's see uh, how long it actually took. I'm going to skip this. And the final time is going to be once it loads. Man, my internet is trash today. Okay, what is it? So, 16 minutes. No way. Oh, I must have done. Oh, I went to the washroom before I started the video. <laughs> That's my bad. That's my bad. Okay, so uh, 16 minutes, 30 seconds, that is not representative of how long it actually took. I'm going to say if you minus the talking, which is a lot a lot of like the time that I wasted here, and also the washroom break, um, probably 10 minutes or so. Probably about 10 minutes of actual gameplay it's going to take you to beat this event, which isn't that bad at all, in my opinion. Um, should we try one more? I think actually we're okay, man. I think we're okay. Uh, <laughs> this 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 run actually took me longer than I expected. I don't want this video to go too long, so uh, I think we're gonna leave it at that. The uh, MUI Goku event, as I said, is still one of the hardest Dokkan events in this game. I think it's actually much harder still than the newest Dokkan event in the game right now, which is the uh, Bardock, the AGL Bardock Dokkan event. You guys can dispute, dispute me on that if you want. Uh, maybe you think differently, but I don't think this Bardock event is very hard at all. I think the MUI Goku event is definitely still harder, 
And uh, yeah, that is going to do it for the video, guys. I am pretty sure that the the free-to-play team Bardock here, that is actually not that hard to grind either. It's going to take you about 45 minutes for each member. If you do it, you know, every other day or whatever, it's, it's actually not that bad of a grind at all. And it's able to beat some of the hardest token events, if not all of the token events currently in the game, which is very very impressive so props to bandai for giving us a team that's able to do that and uh like i said man it's great news for newer players but it's also just overall a really really fun team to run to even if you're not a new player because it's just like really good especially considering it's on a 120 percent team so if you throw the uh, agl bardock into this team as the leader and i guess replace the str bardock with something else or like a great ape character for example or something like that so just so replace this guy with the agl bardock to be the leader 170 percent with uh, plus four key i think also they should be doing quite a bit more damage tanking quite a bit better too and in that case i would definitely give them a chance in super battle road and maybe even the legendary goku event who knows but for now that is today's showcase. I am very impressed with this team. It's definitely better than the Ginyu Force. I've gotten that question a lot. People have been asking, yo, is the Ginyu Force better or is Team Bardock better? I think this video speaks for itself, but if you're still wondering, way better, man. Way better than the uh, Ginyu Force, this team, for sure. No question. I mean, it makes sense because it's been like at least over a year or two since the Ginyu Force came out, right? But anyways, great team. Very impressed. That is the showcase. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic day fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.